How was up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking HD. About to react to this album and preach bit. It's titled Sneeko, The Blind Shepherd, Lord. <laughs> the Red Pill community is crumbling. It's crumbling. Sneeko is included in all that. So let's see what's going on with him. Let's watch. If you believe that you're superior because you're white, you are Jewish. All the Muslim grifters are turning on each other. From Andrew Tate to Nick Fuentes to everybody else his goofballs associated with, they're all turning on him now that he's trying to defend his home country. This is footage of Sneeko talking about the issue now, and then there's footage of him in the past, and the difference is crazy. Yeah, the reason that they're, they're lying, so comfortable lying about a Christian country, their Christian brothers in Haiti, is because they don't consider them, they don't consider them people, they don't consider them brothers at all. Flashback. The reason that the earthquake might have happened in Haiti, not the Dominican Republic, is because they practice something called voodoo. They call themselves Christians in Haiti, but at the same time, they practice a voodoo, like an African voodoo version of Christianity. The next morning. The vast majority of Haitians, if you've ever met and talked to them, they're Christian, they're Catholic. They like will right. bury period blood and like mix it with hair and put it in the ground. They'll do demonic rituals where people start like vibrating and shaking. <laughs> you hear a language that you don't understand, and you think these are, Third, these are re some of the people like well horses so maybe that was god punishing this island for practicing witchcraft and trying to conjure the devil in order to get power so all they say is you should just leave you should leave america leave the country bye we don't like you you this is, should be a white country when was this ever a white country white people created america bro i literally debated this loser he was here supporting nick fuentes who wants a white country he sucked that dude off he went into his rallies mm, he was doing his campaign stuff he kept supporting him and now he's over here with, now that the haitians are getting some flack and he's going well when has this ever been a white white people created america white people created america america you know, the united states of america is a white country it was built by white people it was created by white people see see what i'm saying Bro, I hope he just has like multiple personality disorders and he's got a problem. He's no, he panders and he switches up. He's so based, then around. we start shitting on Haitians and it's like, whoa, 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 you're a white supremacist. I go, I went to Haiti two months ago, didn't eat a cat. So from firsthand experience, no cats. Haiti's uh, not so bad. Well, why don't you go live there, bro? Why don't you go bring Islam to Haiti? You can go be a jihadist in Haiti. Yeah, except they can't read and they eat mud. Fucking based? Now they eat dirt and they swim in an open sewer. It is what it is. I'm not white. I live here. I know I'm never really going to. But it, that's the truth. Stop sucking Hitler off. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> he, what are maybe you talking he does about? have memories. <laughs> I've come to realize, and I didn't know this, a lot of yeah, people warn me disturbed. about this, but conservative ideas, ideas to a lot of people, it's just white supremacism. It goes back, it doesn't go back to God, it goes back to Hitler. It was Hitler evil. Was Jeff uh, Thomas Jefferson evil? No, it's switching sides. <laughs> Did you think that I was gonna be an uncle, an uncle Tom in the big house for you whites? Sneeko. Yeah. If the founding fathers saw you, they would have enslaved you. They'd be like, where is your owner, bro? Me and Nick are good, man. I've always loved Nick. He's a, Nick's a friend of mine. I, I, I don't, That's I never a... question Nick. I never question Nick's capability. Or I've never questioned his intentions. Uh, he's a real, real, he's a, he's a real ass nigga. Uh, so yeah, me and Nick are good. What is I had to watch Sneeko over here defend Nick Fuentes when he said he's against interracial marriage, which is the very thing that birthed Sneeko in the first place. Sneeko wouldn't even exist if Nick Fuentes was in power. Like, Nick really, if he, I listened to this whole call, I don't think he said anything that makes you want to cancel him. I think he's a good oh, guy. Yeah, he's like, I love thing. everybody. Is he really being that? Yo, that's crazy. Bro, that's that's Sneeko. Sneeko, I'm not even going to lie. If he had his way and he had, first off, you wouldn't even exist because you're the basis of our interracial marriage. So, But you don't find it kind of crazy that the ideal world that he envisions is one in which you wouldn't exist in? Sneeko. If the founding fathers saw you, they would have enslaved you. They'd be like, where is your owner, bro? Is this bro? referring? Sneeko's going woke. It's got to stop. Sneeko, we love you. We want you back on Team Red Pill, okay? Me and Zerka, we're dragging your black ass back to Team Red Pill. 
So he's I black? Watch I can watch him more. Hey, is, listen, uh, if Steve so was involved, great. just know he's wrong. Because we don't even know. I don't he already know. said the opposite. But he just, he already said the opposite. I, I can't take Steve seriously, bro. It's like whatever he he's said, black and he said the opposite before, so. And I watched him. I watched him go from what he was to what he was then to what he became afterwards to it's really version sad to seven point oh now. And it's just like, dude, just go be yourself. And if you don't know what that is, stop asking all your daddies for tips. Stop looking, at, dude. This guy used to remember he used to do a fucking cringe Andrew Tate thing where he would stand everywhere and he was doing yeah. his little pose. Like we get it. The reason why people were memeing on you is because every time you spoke in defense of him, you still had his cum all over your face. Ooh. So nobody was going to take what you said seriously. It's hard. Ooh. We have evidence that you've been sucking him off. We watched how you were when you went over there to Romania. He barely looked at you. He looked at you with a fucking loser. Why? Because real people can recognize how much of a goofball you are. Right? Because they don't, may not know it because they're seeing this version of you now, but they're going to watch the next version of you and they'll be like, yo, what's wrong with this guy? He was someone else just a year ago. Yeah. Why was he someone else? No, Nico, that's not what happened. You do not give a fair criticism based on Islam. Firstly, it is not your job in Islam to criticize anybody. That's the first thing. Second thing, you questioned my faith and called me a Jew. So you were responded to in kind. You cannot be a passive aggressive little girl. I understand you're young. But if you talk that way to people, you're going to be responded to a certain way. And you do it all the time. It's not just me. It's just who you are. You're very, like, smart, smarmy, snarky. That's who you are. That's fine. But you deserved it. And you got brutally wrecked because you deserved it. Because you can't call me a Jew. And also, just because you've been Saudi and I've been trapped on house arrest, you don't get to be a better Muslim than me and tell me how the world works either, friend. Right? Friend. So, no hard feelings, but you fucking deserved it. Right? You said in person, I would have knocked your ass out, and I would have helped you get up afterwards and said, sorry, sir, I had to break your jaw. You, sometimes things just had to happen, you know? I know you think you're a tough guy, because Strickland couldn't finish you. I'll finish you. Don't worry about that. I'm built different. Um, he was upset because Sneeko oh. had a problem with something he said, and Sneeko, I think, said something along the lines of, quoting Andrew Tate, says, white supremacists are totally right. And then Sneeko replies, this goes against the core fundamentals of Islam. God did not, in fact, choose any race as supreme. And if you believe so, you're Jewish. Okay. I did not revent to Islam to try to attract fans from Islamic countries. I did not, <laughs> I did not revert to Islam to use a shield from hate. I did not revert to jump on a bandwagon. That is a grift. I am not a grifter. I keep my faith between God and I. Anthony Joshua, Mike Tyson, Dave Chappelle. Many prominent Muslims are private. Praying in private is showing worship to God. This is true faith. Try to act as Muslim as possible for internet likes is simply a grift. Mm. Beware the Haram police, they're the biggest snakes of all. Nobody Haram policed him. What he said literally goes against the core fundamentals of being Muslim. White supremacy is wrong. They're not totally right. It's not totally right to believe in a supreme race. That's everything that we're fighting against. The, whole, the root of all evil stems from a superiority complex from a race. I swear to God, Sneeko literally changes his opinion the way pancakes are flipped when they're on the stove top. And you know what? Changing is not necessarily a bad thing. This but often is ridiculous. From your vantage point while you're changing so much and then condemning people while they haven't made the right decision. Meanwhile, the decision you're making today are going to be different than what you're going to make. You. Shut the fuck up. Mm. You don't know yourself. Stop telling people who they have to be. Mm. You need to That's figure out who you need to be. That's a word. You need to figure out what your values are and what you I understand changing your opinion on things, but this much is, is wild. <laughs> and I reacted to a video in the past where he was changing his viewpoint, like, quite a bit. And it's like, all right, stand on something. Your Jeez. rules are what your social circles, but, but you got no idea. You ain't got no clue. That's why your friends keep changing, your values keep changing. You're all about judging people and what haram. Meanwhile, you're doing drugs and sleeping with hookers. Nobody oh, trying to listen to you, bro. Hey. You triggered your own self. That's the second time yeah. that you play a video of your choosing and then you get triggered. That's amazing. That's amazing trigger skills. What a goofball, bro. Yeah, it is. Yes. I don't have much to say about Steve Cole. I never really liked him. No, that's not true. I appreciate him at first, back then when you showed me his videos, where he was doing, you know, the first version of Steve Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, shit, this dude is interesting. Interesting. I didn't know what to do, so... But it's interesting, and then he starts flip, flop, flip, flop. Jesus, it's always a flip with him. It's not even a good flip. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, out of all the decisions that you're trying to make, you always take the wrong one. So it's just whatever. I don't even think the decisions are necessarily wrong. It's just you are committing to something you don't 
feel certain about and that you don't actually believe in. You're, you're adopting a belief system that you actually haven't thought through. And then you're preaching it. Yeah. It's like somebody just opening you're up carrying, the Bible for the first time and all of a sudden they want to run up, they want to be a pastor. You're carrying, and they, and they want to counsel their, their flock. It's like, bro, you haven't even read through all the Bible verses. Why are you talking to me about what's right and what's wrong? You don't know. So, at any rate, that's my thoughts on this. Like I told you, these people are going to flame out. They're not going to last another two, three years. Most of them, you already see their reaches plummeting. And it's going to continue going down. So People are going to move on to another thing. And now they're even fighting with each other. They can't even get along. Because everybody's calling each other. They're calling each other grifters, which is crazy. It's like watching a, a pen full of pigs, and everyone's like, you're a pig, you're a pig. It's like, bitch, you're all pigs. <laughs> bitch, you're all pigs. You guys are all going to be baking soon, too. Oh. Literally, everyone outside the pig pen is looking at you guys and be like, look at these fucking idiots. They all think they're racially each other. They all look stupid. The reason that the earthquake might have happened in Haiti, not the American Republic, is because they practice something called voodoo. They all, they, they call themselves Christians in Haiti, but at the same time, they practice a voodoo, like an African voodoo version of Christianity. I can't take this guy seriously, bro. This guy, man, every, we gave everybody the answers that they were yabbing on about shit they fuck all about. And this guy's Haitian, which makes it even more embarrassing. Part Haitian. His dad is like some kind of light-skinned Jew, which uh, if you're unaware in Haiti, basically means uh, those are the bougie-ass people, the ones who are really not of the people and live in their little castle, their little ivory castle. Well, that's what those people repeat about Haiti. What? Oh, that, the, what yeah, they're the ones who are going to say shit like, oh, the reason why the earthquake happened is because of Voodoo. not knowing that these people are all stealing resources, getting rich off the poor people, and make sure they have no good infrastructure to survive a good hurricane. Now, look, a lot of problems in Haiti, but just beware that the people who talk like this, the way he learned this, he learned this from his dad, and his dad is one of those people. Okay, so every time Sneagle claims he's Haitian, just cringe a lot knowing that these people live in their ivory towers and literally never mingle with local Haitians if they get a chance to. They're about as Haitian as me. Mm. No. Even less, because I speak the language. Thank you. My apologies. And yeah, just, you know, you're not ashamed. To talk they're about as Haitian as you. You're not afraid to talk to speak it. Like, you're going to make it for efforts to speak the language no. with people that speak the language. So, yeah. right there. Do I need to Google Translate, you niggas? We having no conversation. I don't understand. In front of me. But they were also able to understand. Even though it was a bit like, yo, yo, Haitian kind of fuck you. I'm like, yo, but y'all still be like, we get you. Yeah, but you, but you, you know, you, you're making efforts. Yes, yes, you know, yes. It's just propaganda people spread Here to make the local population one be, be looking elsewhere for why they don't I have to get back on my Spanish. I've been slipping. I'm busy. But two, also also have something that they don't have control over, which is that's it. We're gonna stop that one today. Yeah, what's the <sighs> Sneeko always been on some nonsense, though. I honestly feel like he rage baits some of the time, if not all of the time. I don't, I don't really know. I can't take him seriously with some of the things that he says. Uh, but, but maybe he is just changing his opinion, like he changed his draws. I don't know. <laughs> but this is wild. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.